Hello, that's Tom Lischer uh, in Inside Cardiology. And it's again COVID, but this time it's something new. After COVID is before COVID, and so we have to understand the disease better. As you can see in this slide, COVID is actually a generalized endothelial disease. In the end, it's an endothelial disease, as we wrote with Peter Libby. And you can see, first of all, you have an infection, you have a virus like a cold, that is harmless, and then your body reacts to it. And this is the inflammation that you see on the right hand of the slide. This is really what kills you. The overreaction of the body to the virus. It's like heart failure where you have too much sympathetic activation. Too much of a good thing is bad. And here as well. And indeed, when we look at the different aspects of the inflammation, you can see every organ is involved because all blood vessels have endothelial cells and they're inflamed, they're activated, they express all kinds of adhesion molecules, they, uh, they uh, express tissue factor and that's why you get pulmonary embolism, lots of clots in the uh, uh, pulmonary circulation, in the heart you get uh, damage of the microcirculation, you get troponin increases. In the brain even, uh, you, you can have stroke. And of course, in the kidney, you can have failure of uh, renal function. And eventually, in each blood vessel, clots form with nets activation that uh, produce solid clots that kill patients with COVID-19. And of course, uh, that's why dexamethasone works, because it's inflammation. And if you reduce inflammation, you can see on the left-hand side, when you are not uh, in uh, uh, the intensive care unit uh, ventilated, you get a benefit by uh, inhibition of inflammation, but even more so if you have a very severe course of COVID-19. So this general inflammation kills you, but it can also damage your body and you have COVID after COVID. And that's the last topic I would like to dwell on. And that's uh, from uh, the Oxford group, uh, from Betty Rahman, uh, published recently. And you can see all organs are involved when you uh, had had COVID and you still have symptoms. Most patients have fatigue, reduction in exercise tolerance, dyspnea, but you can see here, the lung is not the only one involved. Of course, the lung, as you can see in panel A, uh, is, is altered. Your oxygen uptake is reduced compared to previous. Your six minute walk test is reduced. Uh, you have dyspnea when you exercise and go up the stairs and even brain health is affected. So COVID may pass, but after COVID is again COVID and we have to deal with this. We have to vaccinate people, but we have to also understand how to avoid these long-term consequences of this inflammatory process, even in those who are not on the intensive care unit to, rec uh, to return to a normal life in the future. But it will take time, so stay tuned on Inside Cardiology. Thank you.